Did you know that over 90% of today's batteries still rely on lithium? This critical mineral, essential for powering electric vehicles, EVS, smartphones, and energy storage systems, is not only becoming increasingly scarce but is also largely controlled by a small group of countries. While the United States has long been a global leader in automotive engineering and clean energy innovation, the hard truth is that our battery supply chain especially for lithium-ion cells is still heavily dependent on imports from Asia, particularly China. This dependency not only increases costs by more than 25%, but also exposes the country to serious supply chain vulnerabilities. Imagine, however, if there were a solution made entirely in the USA battery manufactured domestically, using resources extracted from our own deserts and plains, that not only slashes costs by 30%, but is also fully compatible with EVs and offers an unmatched safety profile. It may sound too good to be true, but in today's episode of Tesla Car World, we reveal all the must-know details about a revolutionary battery breakthrough that promises to change the EV landscape forever. Sodium ion batteries. So, what makes sodium ion technology such a game-changer for electric vehicles? First, these batteries offer exceptional durability and high performance, even in extreme temperatures. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion batteries perform reliably in freezing conditions and can charge so rapidly that even industry veterans are stunned. Some prototypes can power a vehicle for over 600 miles on a single charge on par with Tesla's second-generation Roadster. To put that into perspective, a round trip from Las Vegas to Los Angeles and back could be done without stopping to recharge. That level of range and reliability ushers in a new era of energy independence and supply chain security for America. This is no speculative tech. NAVL, a rising name in battery innovation, has thoroughly researched and now actively manufactures sodium ion batteries in its California-based pilot facility. Since its initial launch, Naval's sodium ion solution has stunned experts and reshaped industry expectations. Navolt, the emerging battery manufacturer behind this effort, operates a 50-megawatt pilot plant in the Mojave Desert, and its latest prototype has already demonstrated remarkable real-world performance. Independent laboratory evaluations and field tests in the desert confirm that their prototype cell delivers a robust energy density of 210 watt-hours per kilogram. This is just 10% less than the best current lithium-ion cells but is still sufficient to support mid-size EVs with ranges of 400 to 600 miles per charge. What truly sets this technology apart is its lightning-fast charging speed. Veteran engineers, including consultants from Monroe and Associates, witnessed the battery pack charge from 0% to 80% in just 12 minutes using standard for 800V charging hardware now common across the US. This advancement cuts charging time by two and significantly improves convenience for all drivers, especially older ones who value short, predictable stops. In durability testing, these cells completed over 5,000 full charge-discharge cycles with less than 10% degradation. That's over a decade of reliable performance before noticeable range loss begins. Temperature resilience is another standout feature. These batteries maintain consistent performance across a wide temperature range from minus 25 degrees Celsius, minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, up to 65 degrees Celsius, Santa Quarantine Nueve. In contrast, conventional lithium-ion packs can lose 20% to 30% of their performance in extreme cold a major issue for drivers in colder climates. Oversight from renowned teardown expert Sandy Monroe lends further credibility. Known for his blunt assessments, Monroe has praised Nolt's data and manufacturing line, calling it the biggest practical battery breakthrough since lithium-ion first went commercial. That's high praise from one of the industry's most respected critics. Another major advantage of sodium-ion batteries is their compatibility with today's 400 volts and 800 volts EV platforms. Automakers don't need to redesign factories or retrain workers, making it a drop-in solution that's ready for mass production. But skeptics might still ask, even if the pilot production succeeds, can it scale? According to Navalt, the answer is a resounding yes. The streamlined sodium ion production process uses 33% fewer coating steps than solid-state batteries. Plus, the formation period where the battery is stabilized requires just one to two charge-discharge cycles, far less than lithium-ion's three to five cycles and significantly quicker than what solid-state and nickel-metal hydride technologies require. Production costs are also dramatically lower. Sodium-ion batteries currently cost around $50 to $70 per kilowatt to manufacture. Thanks to sodium's abundance, this is much lower than lithium-ion $100 to $150, KWH solid-state $200 plus, KWH, and nickel metal hydride, $80 to $120. KW, even at full industrial scale, sodium ion remains a cost-effective solution.
opening the door to affordable EVs under $30,000 and scalable energy storage systems, with lithium and cobalt supplies growing scarcer and costlier. Automakers are increasingly seeking alternatives. Leadership at Navalt has confirmed active negotiations with major North American car makers, including Tesla, Ford, and Stellantis. Vehicles powered by sodium ion batteries could hit showrooms as early as the next decade. And as the EV market faces new regulatory and political challenges, sodium ion offers even more strategic value. On June 12, 2025, President Trump signed legislation revoking California's Clean Air Act waiver. This repeal eliminated the state's zero-emission vehicle ZEV mandate, which had required 100% of new passenger vehicles sold by 2035 to be either electric or hydrogen-powered. With this push toward electrification now weakened, automakers are scrambling to reduce production costs, accelerate innovation, and reduce reliance on volatile global supply chains. Sodium ion batteries, once considered a niche technology, now stand out for their scalability, cost-effectiveness, and versatility. Tesla, for one, is already making big moves. It's commercializing a sodium ion battery that offers around 400 kilometers, roughly 250 miles of range comparable to current LFP lithium iron phosphate batteries but at a significantly lower cost. This development is perfect for Elon Musk's long-anticipated $25,000 EV. It's also the first time a sodium ion pack has reached this milestone, sending shockwaves through the industry. Tesla's own 4,680 cell production line continues ramping up, producing over 3.5 million cells per week. While these are currently allocated to higher-end vehicles like the Model Y and Cybertruck, there's a clear strategic vision for sodium ion in Tesla's future. Former Tesla engineers are also entering the space. One startup, Bedrock Materials, founded by a former Tesla battery engineer, has developed a sodium ion battery capable of 300 miles of range at a cost lower than today's LFP options. While many battery technologies have come and gone over the years, sodium ion stands out for its rapid progress improving energy density by 40% in just two years, faster than any other battery chemistry. Automakers, initially obsessed with solid state are now hedging their bets with sodium ion to mitigate the rising costs of lithium batteries. Tesla's much-discussed $25,000 Model 2 is reportedly being developed with sodium ion batteries in mind. This battery technology hits the key metrics Musk needs, cost efficiency, scalability, and environmental sustainability. Sodium, after all, is 500 to 1,000 times more abundant than lithium, and the mining process is significantly less damaging to ecosystems. Sodium ion batteries still share the same basic components as lithium ion positive and negative electrodes. A separator, and a liquid electrolyte but sodium is used as the charge carrier instead. Both electrodes can be made of aluminum, which is cheaper than copper, offering another cost-saving benefit. And rather than using expensive nickel, cobalt, and lithium, sodium ion designs rely on abundant elements like iron, magnesium, and aluminum. Achieving a 300-mile range with sodium ion is no small feat, but recent materials, science breakthroughs have significantly improved capacity. While sodium's larger ion size reduces energy density compared to lithium, the gap is closing. Moreover, sodium ion batteries can charge and discharge up to 10 times faster than their lithium ion counterparts. That means shorter range becomes less of a drawback when a 5-minute recharge gets you back on the road. Data also shows sodium ion cells retaining over 80% capacity after 4,000 to 5,000 cycles. And projections suggest lifespans of up to 50,000 cycles. Safety is another critical factor. While EV fires are rare, public fear remains. Sodium is far less reactive than lithium reducing the risk of thermal runaway and making sodium ion batteries inherently safer. Their cold weather performance is also far superior, where lithium ion cells struggle in frigid temperatures some dropping below 70% capacity sodium ion retains over 88% at minus 20 degrees Celsius, making it ideal for places like Chicago or Minneapolis. Historically, the biggest challenge for sodium ion batteries was their lower energy density, while lithium ion ranges from 120 to 260 watt hours per kilogram. Sodium ion has hovered around 75 to 160 watt hours per kilogram. Sodium ions are larger and heavier, limiting capacity, but modern breakthroughs now allow sodium ion packs to deliver similar range as LFP packs, albeit at a slight weight penalty, equivalent to carrying one extra passenger. That's a minor compromise for low-cost mass-market EVs where price and safety outweigh performance.